I'm Anil Kumar. Now it is time to review Unit 7 Trigonometric Functions. Here is a test paper of my student. These are multiple choice questions. I'd like you to copy these questions, try them out, practice. Uh, these are four for you. There are ten in all on this page. Some more. And then these are the last three questions from the test paper. Now I will discuss with you question number seven which uh, I have seen so many times students not getting right. So let us see why it is so. Here is the question. It says an, ex an expression identical to sine of x plus pi by 2 is what? We are given four choices, right? So when we are saying x plus pi by 2, it really means that we are in quadrant 2, correct? In quadrant 2, sine is positive right sine is positive since sine is positive when we are writing in terms of the acute angle x it has to be a positive value now since it is x plus pi by 2 that positive value should be cosine and therefore the answer should be b and that is the kind of logic which can help you get the right answer very fast now I have added one more question to this which is similar but relates with co-function because at times I have seen a similar question which students don't get easily. Now this one is we an expression identical to cos of 2 pi by 3 is what right. Now 2 pi by 3 also happens to be in quadrant 2 since cos is negative right. Therefore, we are expecting a negative answer. So that means it will be one of these two. Which one? We have to figure out what this angle is. Which we can find by taking away pi by 2 from 2 pi by 3. Right? So if you do 2 pi by 3 minus pi by 2, you will get your answer. For common denominators, multiply this by 2, you get 4 pi by 6 minus multiply this by 3, 3 pi by 6, which gives you pi by 6, correct. Since cos is negative here, we are looking for negative answers with acute angle of pi by 6. So the answer is D for us. I hope these strategies will help us to get all similar questions right all the time. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.